Hey everyone, Dion here, and today we're gonna to take a look at my personal Unraid setup. So let's start with some backstory. For the last almost decade, I'd say, I've been using a Windows server with a four bay Drobo attached to it as my home NAS. I had a Drobo Gen 1 that I actually picked up on eBay for about a hundred bucks. Um, the thing needed a new power supply. I found one on Amazon. I grabbed a couple of one terabyte drives and I put that together for roughly 300 bucks. For anybody unfamiliar with Drobos, they're basically a storage device you plug a bunch of drives into and then you plug that into uh, like a computer as a USB hard drive. You can also use Thunderbolt. Uh, they have fancier models that plug directly into your network as well. I like the Drobo because you can stick basically any size drive into it and then it turns them all into one big drive. It automatically handles the drives, data protection and stuff like that so you don't have to worry about it. When one drive starts to run out of space, the Drobo software will just start blinking at you and notify you that you need to replace the drive. And then when you need to replace it, you just pop the drive out, put a new one in and it handles balancing out the data and all the data protection stuff. I looked into getting a Drobo that had more drive bays, but the next model up from mine jumped up to the $1,200 range for an eight bay setup. The same can be said for like Synology, QNAP, two other companies that make similar products to Drobo. It was around this time that I heard about Unraid from a friend of mine. I decided I could put together a killer Unraid setup with about 34 terabytes of storage with the drives that I had laying around and I could build that for roughly what I would pay for a new Drobo Synology or QNAP system that did storage as well as support virtual machines. So with all that being said, let's go take a look at my setup and then I'll give you a breakdown of what I used to put it together. I decided to go with the server rack setup and the rack I chose to use was the StarTech 25U open rack. I needed a case to put all my stuff in and for that I chose the Rosewill 4U server chassis. For the guts of the server, I spent a lot of time on eBay looking for older generation server hardware I could use. I didn't really find anything that I liked. What I ended up doing was getting on AliExpress and don't run away just yet because you'll wanna hear this. I found a motherboard processor RAM combo deal that was exactly what I was looking for. And after some careful consideration and watching some YouTube videos about the motherboard and the manufacturer, I decided to go for it. I ended up snagging two 2.5 gigahertz Xeon E5 2860s. Uh, these have 12 cores and 24 threads. I also picked up a brand new Huananji X99 F8D server motherboard. It supports the dual processors and it also came with 64 gigs of RAM. It also came with two decent CPU coolers and they kind of remind me of the Cooler Master 212 Evos. Now you're probably kind of like, uh, did you just buy a bunch of weird hardware from China? And as a matter of fact, I did. It was a risk, but I felt like for the price, I was getting a pretty good deal. And after all said and done, it's been absolutely solid. I also picked up a Western Digital Black one terabyte SN750 Gen 3 NVMe drive to use as the Unraid's cache drive and a cheap Asus GT710 fanless video card, which ended up costing way more than it should have. An LSI 9201 16i PCI Express SATA card, which supports up to 16 discs. And finally, an EVGA 600 watt power supply. I reused all the drives from my Drobo for storage, but I did buy one eight terabyte drive to use as the parity drive. I know my Unraid build is far from budget friendly, but I had put some money aside uh, for the Drobo upgrade, but all of that went into this. I really wanted to put together something that would last me at least three to five years, but I also wanted to have plenty of room to grow. What do you guys think? Was I right to go with Unraid, or should I have given Drobo, Synology, or QNAP a try? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, go check out my socials, and we'll see you in the next one. I also picked up a F8D uh, dual processor. I also picked up a brand new uh, F8D dual, but I had put money away as...